Let's begin the disassembly procedure for the ASUS ARTBOOK L7000 series notebook. The disassembly procedure is divided into seven major categories. First, we start with the keyboard and heatsink plates. To remove the two plates, first push the two latches in with a pair of tweezers. Then lift the keyboard plate up and place it over the touchpad. Next, remove a total of nine screws here and carefully pry the bottom edge of the heatsink plate up and place it over the keyboard. Finally, unlock the keyboard cable connectors with a single slotted screwdriver. Then remove the two plates from the notebook. Next, we'll proceed to remove the CPU module. To do so, simply remove three screws here and then lift the Intel Mobile Module Board up with two hands. Please note the location of the MMC1 connectors. Next, let's proceed to remove the LCD module. First, remove the two hinge covers with a single slotted screwdriver. And then remove the LCD wire cover by pushing in and lifting up. Then remove two hinge screws shown here and two more screws from the bottom of the notebook. Next, remove two screws here and disconnect the LCD cable and the inverter cable. Now you can easily lift the LCD module up from the notebook. To disassemble the module, first remove four screw pads and screws on the side. Then remove three rubber pads here and three screws underneath them. Next, carefully pry the inside edges of the LCD case open to remove the LCD front cover. Then, disconnect the inverter cable to remove the inverter from the LCD case. Please note that for the 12.1 inch model, there is an extra spacer cap to remove beforehand. Finally, for the 13.3 inch panel, remove six screws here to detach the side brackets. And for the 12.1 inch panel, remove six screws located differently as shown on your screen to complete the LCD module disassembly. Next, we'll shift our attention to the hard disk drive module. From the bottom of the notebook, remove one fixed screw with a coin. Then pull the hard drive module out. Then remove the two screws on one side and two more on the other side to separate the basal from the module. Then remove the shielding plate from the drive. And finally remove the hard drive connector to complete the module disassembly. Next, we'll remove and disassemble the top case module. First, remove three screws here and disconnect the lid switch cable with a pair of pliers. Please note that if there is a modem installed, remove it first by disconnecting the phone cable and removing one screw as shown on your screen. Next, remove the touchpad cable. Now, from the bottom of the notebook, remove four screws here. Then, unlock the left end of the floppy cable connector and lift the top case up to unlock the right end and dislodge the cable. 
Now you can separate the top case module from the rest of the notebook. To disassemble the module, first remove two screws here to remove the floppy drive from the top case. Finally, remove five screws here to remove the touchpad module and complete the top case disassembly. Next, we have the CD-ROM module. First, remove one screw here and one screw from the bottom of the notebook. Then lift the CD-ROM module up to disconnect the CD-ROM cable. Now the entire drive can be separated from the notebook. Finally, we're left with the motherboard module. First, remove the battery charge board by removing three screws and lifting the board away from the system. Next, remove the PCM CIA shielding plate and disconnect the speaker cable. Next, remove four spacers here and one regular screw here. From the bottom of the notebook, remove two screws here. Then lift the motherboard up to a 30 degree angle and pull the motherboard out of the bottom case. If there was a modem installed, you may remove the phone jack also. Now, to disassemble the motherboard, first turn the motherboard over on its back and from the right side of the module, remove two screws as shown here. And lift the PCM CIA box away. Then again from the bottom of the motherboard, remove two screws on the left side of the module here to remove the HDD guide bracket. Next, remove the RTC battery with a single slotted screwdriver and carefully pull out the BIOS chip with an IC clamp. Next, remove six hex screws with a spacer screwdriver and three caps for the audio jacks with this custom-made cap remover as shown here. Then, detach the I.O. bracket to disconnect the fan cable from the motherboard and remove the I.O. bracket altogether. Finally, remove two screws here to remove the fan and complete the motherboard disassembly. That's all for the disassembly procedure for the ASUS Artbook.